everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. This is our draft challenge run, episode 30. I believe we just beat Waygriff. All right, party roster. Let's see if we have um, our goals and kind of refresh ourselves on our goals. Because honestly, it's been a while since I've played because I've been trying to finish off Baldur's Gate. Siege of Dragonspear, which I just finished last night. Okay, so Zack as a monk, he's already completed all of his stuff. Don't worry about him. Um, Mitch, ability-wise for ninja, he should actually be pretty close to master. So, not too far off of dual wield. We'll keep going for that. Jordan. Hmm. I just, like, save or something like Bahamut. That we have that like huge crash of damage. Don't know that that's really gonna matter, but I don't know that uh, anything else is gonna. Sure. Woods is working on ninja. Nin nin. He has to get ninja eight. His goal is to get dual wield first and foremost. Pretty close. Jay as bard. Um, I think is... Okay, so he has a move plus three now. Do I go for fly instead? I think we take move plus three. Because move plus three is a very good option. Especially since he has item, right? So he uh, move plus three is going to allow him to get into good position. Way easier to utilize different things. Um, and I think we move Zack back to a job that he's actually learning something from. Now, we had him on chemist because the idea was maybe maybe we um, maybe we do some, like, monk with item or something like that. Uh, but I just don't know that that is where I want to go with that. I'm trying to remember. So we've got monk... Dark Knight, Summoner, Bard, Ninja. I just don't know if there's anything that I would really want in the long run aside from something like items on my monk. So I think we actually might go ahead and keep, keep trying to uh, learn things I wonder if we, like, just swap over to Brawler, though, so that he doesn't doesn't suck the whole time, you know? Uh, we could, instead of JP Boost, but JP Boost is going to take... It's going to get us through so much faster. Aoife, Aoife. Mitch had his helmet broken up. Let's save that for now. Um, actually, let's check our items. Fundaments, fundaments. Okay, we should be able to. Um, let's see some cutscenes. Ah, uh, hello, hello. You're the heretic Zack, yes. Bring the scriptures of Germanique with you. Uh, I have, sure, I've read them. And this lecture you do not have. Well, fuck. Rut row, Raggy. Alma's gonna got got. Yep, got got, get got. Damn. If only we could just, like, go up the middle. 
Okay, before we head anywhere, it's definitely time to see about outfitting things. Optimize. Pretty good. No. Definitely that. Definitely that. And then I think maybe a Kodachi instead. We might actually have to sell gear for the first time in a long time. Uh, no. Wizard's Rod would probably be good. And definitely not. Okay. Ooh. This would be another two Kodachis. I might not be able to. Ooh, Bloodstring Harp. What's the Bloodstring Harp even do? Jeremy, Jeremy, he's our man if he can't do it. Great! Rude. I need to generate forty four thousand. I do not know that it's possible. Yeah, I don't know that he's actually going to be up to it, truth be told. I do not know. I do not want to get rid of the beret. Auto X potion would carry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might actually, you, you say let them run out. I might actually just sell them and buy um, X potions. That's part of what I'm doing right now is selling off all my old gear to see just how much money I have to play with. That and I want to make sure I have a set of gear for a monk. So okay, I, I can switch back over when I need to. Like I've had a little piggy bank this entire time, and it's all my gear. Shit, that was like 100k. I have other stuff here, but I guess I can sell all the battle boots. I'm not really interested in having battle boots on anyone anymore. Um, hmm, I have whole bunch of shurikens. So I could sell all of my... What do they sell for? They sell for... 
100 a pop, so that's 7,000. Hmm. Hey, old Bebop. How's it going? Yeah, auto Xing is going to be kind of rough, but I'm not sure I'm going to have any other real options. Okay, so we're good there, we're good there. Definitely going to do that. I'm going to flip back over real quick to a monk. Oofa doofa. This is going to be a lot of preparation, but hopefully we get through the fight fairly well. Okay, that's about as good. Um, that means I just need to buy X potions. Yep. So uh, uh, a bunch of friends... And I got together and decided we wanted to do a draft for Final Fantasy Tactics. And Ninja, Dark Knight, Bard, Summoner, and Monk are the classes that I got out of that draft. So we can only learn skills from those classes. And from Squire and Chemist. Because everyone gets Squire and Chemist. That is the challenge. So far it's been uh, pretty fun. I can get 89 X potions. I kind of just feel like I'd just do that. Like, I just... I kind of just feel like I buy 89 X potions. Fuck it. Alright. Okay, so we're heading up to... <laughs> right? Just a few more than I thought I was going to be able to buy. So here you are. They've been searching high and low for you. I do hope this day finds your royal highness in better spirits than those past. Do not mock me. Please. I could not bear it. That was cruel of me. I am sorry. What do you mean to do with me? I am not Ovelia. There can be no value in holding you. No value even in my living. <laughs> You're right. You are not the Princess Ovelia. We do not even know your rightful name. Whether even you be highborn or low. I had often wondered. Of the royal family. Why must I alone be confined to a remote monastery, so far removed from the seat of our crown? Even this I thought a burden light enough, if it meant the kingdom would know peace. It has been the same for me. I was given the wardrobe of a nobleman, and so I played the part, a puppet ever dancing for the amusement of patrons unseen. This wretched world does not reward endeavor. It is the patron and his troop who are receipt. Maggots grown fat on endeavor's course. Most men but play the part they're given. Most live and die not knowing they play a part at all. But I am past all that now. 
I am their unwitting puppet. No more. No more. I will exact from them the price of their gluttonous feast. And just what is it you plan to do to them? I will burn down this kingdom, and from its ashes build for you a new one, a kingdom worthy of you. I will show you a world where your light will outshine the sun, a world that will know no darkness. And you will have no more need of tears. Such a world is possible. I will not fail you in this. On Titra's soul, I swear it to you. Dry your tears. So that cutscene, <laughs> that cutscene is legitimately um, one of the cutscenes, one of the moments, one of the adaptations that I think truly sets the War of the Lions apart from the original game. There are a lot of things that I like about the original a little bit better than I do about the War of the Lions. There are a lot of things that I like about the War of the Lions a bit better than I do about the original. but. As impactful as that cutscene is in the original, it does not hold a candle to how it is represented in the War of the Lions. That That is an incredibly powerful, emotional scene in in the War of the Lions. And it might be it might be kind of like a double, you know, it might be an unfair comparison because it is so powerful. Once you already know what's happening, once you already know what's going to happen, right? It makes the emotion and the power behind that scene so much more. Um, but yeah, that's, that is legitimately why if I recommend someone play Final Fantasy Tactics, I'm going to recommend War of the Lions because of little, little parts like that. Because they're, they just, they clinch that emotion better than the original does. All right, let's go. Save real quick so we don't have to worry about that again. Woo. All right, oh no. Okay, here, we're gonna reset. We actually just saved. Cause I don't want him on Monk, I want him on uh, um, Chemist, so he can learn stuff. Learn stuff. Yes, sir. All right, party roster, real quick. Plop over to Chemist. Bada bum bum bum. Odie boy. Odie boy's been sick. He's not happy. Sneeze. You'll never be able to outrun them. It's dinner you're after. I'll feed you a length of iron. Have it your way then.
This, however, is one of those random additions that I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so we go from one of the moments, not that that wasn't cool or anything like that, but it's like, I don't really feel like we need random, random injections of other characters from other games. You know? Well, whatever. Alright. Fight some boyos. Wait till Balti- yeah. Ugh. Focus. Hey Jake, how's it going? He has so much HP. Can Behemoth Kings. Oh my goodness. Ugh. And he just runs in. He just fing runs in. Son of a bitch. Usuna! He's gonna die before I can do anything. Crikey. I guess, like, legitimately, I'm going to run over here and throw an X-Potion at him. <laughs> like, fuck me. Alright, we'll go ahead and do a Nameless. Does he have anything defensive? Because he is just getting his ass beat right now. Oof. Finally. Goodness gracious. <gasps> Sneezy boy. So that that should protect him for like, I don't know, two seconds. Uh, smack this guy from above. Nice. That is an upside, I will say. When you can uh, insta give people. Nice. Watch him just run out in the middle of the rest of them. East. Boing. Damn, they are just suddenly missing. See how that goes. Odin on a bunch of people could be fun. Okay, so he is actually still kind of hurt. Um, and I would rather guarantee his survival. Because if he gets surrounded and hit by multiple guys, he could still drop. Woods doesn't have anything to throw. 
Hmm. Let's go after this guy. Because <laughs> the other one should die to Odin. And now this one should as well. This one is out of the way of Odin, so let's go ahead and just finish him off with Mitch. Nice. Protect regen and haste. Not bad. I think he was already hasted, though. So. Hey, he just walked into the Odin. Oh, shit. He just one-shot Woods. Oof. No! I was hoping that guy was gonna... It get got... Auto potion's pretty strong. Alright, so obliterate should kill him. Nice. Got the stone kill. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to say we pop him on the side, and that is, wow, wow, I will say I did not expect that, jeez, okay, but this, this should do it, whop, and whop, goodness gracious, freaking behemoths hit like trucks. Back-to-back -back wins with Imposter, as Imposter with TK and Tyler. Wait, with TK and Tyler are... Those are two different people. Congratulations, Jake! You sneaky son of a bitch! Um, and yes, I think, I don't think Luso's design could not be subdued in, in tactics. Oh... <laughs> uh. And he's going to immediately get kicked. Fucking random Luso. Allow. Hell yeah, allow. Definitely allow. Because I want his gear. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be quite a few more explosions. Yeah, the it's the Grimoire of the Rift, yeah. Alright, Luso. Luso do so. Remove. All right, get out of here, boy. I strip you for coin and then you're gone. You're gone, you hear me? You're gone. All right. 
So that's going to be it for this particular episode. Uh, I will see you all next time for more Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Bye, everybody.